Why did the demons ask Jesus' permission to be sent into the pigs when those pigs would be immediately drowned? From the story of Jesus' journey to the region of the Gerasenes sets the stage for a dramatic demonstration of his power over evil. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore. Night and day he was constantly screaming and shrieking among the tombs and on the mountains and cutting himself with sharp stones. The man had uncontrollable conduct and was tormented to the point where he was destroying himself. When the demons saw Jesus, they ran and fell on his knees in front of him, recognizing him as the Son of God and address him with a mix of fear and acknowledgement of his divine authority. They pled not to be tormented before the appointed time. The demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of pigs. After receiving permission from Jesus, the unclean spirit came out of the man and went into the pigs. And behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. The herdsmen saw this, they fled and reported this including the casting of demon out of the possessed men. The townspeople went out to meet Jesus upon hearing of the event and seeing the transformed men now in their right mind and liberated from demonic possession are filled with fear rather than joy and they beg Jesus to depart from their borders. Their request for Jesus to depart highlights a tragic human tendency to reject divine intervention when it disrupts economic stability or social norms. This event underscores several key aspects of Jesus' ministry, his authority over both the physical and spiritual realms. The demons know who Jesus is. They call him the Son of God. Acknowledging he is superior and has absolute power over them to decide whether they should be cast out and where they can go. The demon knew what is to come in the future on the final day of judgment. In reality, Jesus did not come to judge them at that time, so these demons were not in jeopardy of premature punishment. Nevertheless, they didn't wait for Jesus to answer their question. Instead, they moved directly to proposing an alternative to the judgment they supposed was coming. The demons proposed to leave the bodies of the men and enter pig instead. It appears they hoped Jesus would accept this proposal instead of casting them into the abyss. Jesus had no reason not to accept their proposal since it served his purposes and accepting their proposal did not alter the demon's ultimate fate on the day of judgment. And the time of the total demonstration of his authority over demons had not yet come. It says in Colossians chapter 2 verse 15, At the cross, Jesus disarmed demons in their attack on believers. This story also tells us a very important message that the self-destructive fate of the pigs parallels the destructive nature of the demons, illustrating the havoc wrought by evil when left unchecked. The reaction of the Gerasenes can be seen as a metaphor for humanity's broader resistance to spiritual authority, especially when it challenges economic interests and cultural traditions.